Isn't it cool when you can stand in the, the middle of a lake? Very cool. Um, oh, hello. So, I'm out in the Pine Barrens in the great state of New Jersey, and I picked up a paddleboard. I'm gonna start here by just assembling it, seeing how, you know, seeing how everything is, and then I'm gonna take it on my little vehicle to a, to a lake nearby. All right, so let's, uh, let's get it out and check it out. What's cool about this is it has a backpack. So this is gonna make transporting it very easy. So I gotta say right away, I like, I like the backpack feature. It has a little clip here. I think if I had to go for a hike with it, I think it'd go pretty well. Feels pretty, uh, pretty sturdy, not too heavy. Feels like a pretty good pack. All right, so I'm gonna take it over right here onto my little cabin, take everything out, we'll go through it, put it together, and take it out. So the company is Gilly, and it comes with everything I need and additional pockets to put other items like this is the leash. I have the fins in here. So let's open this puppy up. Only folds. Okay, so the kit comes with your paddle, a patch kit, also has the pump, and then the heavy duty PVC, heavy duty latex, heavy duty paddle board in here. So here's the pump, has a indicator right here to tell me what the PSI is on the boat, which I think is very cool. So I assembled my pump. The pump is cool because these handles ta are, can be taken out along with that to make it easier to pack in your pack. So I'm gonna attach it. Now the boat says it needs to be pumped to 12 to 15 PSI. So we still got a little ways to go. All right, so it's inflated to the point where I think it's good. I'm going for right about in the middle of the target range. All right, feels pretty solid. Looks pretty solid. Let's put together the paddle real quick. It's two pieces, but one piece has an extension. That's pretty cool. You do not need a screwdriver for this. It's just a quick clip. Well, I'll tell you, it's pretty light. It feels very firm. It feels like it's going to be a good device. Wrapped up and ready to go. Let's grab the other items and get going. But, but uh, she'll finally get to do a trilogy. It's exciting, though. There's a lot of great children. Take that away. Husband. <laughs> <laughs> Harrisville Lake. There's the board, there's the lake. But before we go, we gotta put on the fins for stability. So. It looks like they slip right in. This larger one does not slip in as easily as these two. It's a firmer fit. So you have to get it in, line it up, you pull the tab out, and then you press down until it clicks in place. You put the tab down to lock it. Okay, so for a second there, I thought this one was not produced well. Um, so 
trying to get my feel for it, like, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, it feels stable, yet it feels a little shaky. I mean, maybe it just feels like I'll, I'll need to get some, some practice in. It's certainly an exercise in, uh, in balance. You know, I kind of feel my thighs like I need to stay a little bit, you know, planted. You should see this view, though. Ooh. I mean, I could definitely lay on this thing. <sighs> yeah, it's really nice out here. So I'm gonna try to make it out to that island out yonder. Let's see if I can make it. All right, so uh, things are going well. Uh, however, this is a very shallow area <laughs> and my my fin is catching ground. So I've decided to sit down so I can kind of not chance falling. I'm definitely getting caught. I need to get around out to the other side over there. Uh, I, someone just told me it's a deeper channel over there. So I could see the ground, huh? Mm. Look at this. I can see the ground right here. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll step down real quick. Let me put this away. And I'll go in, take my leash off. <laughs> Isn't it cool when you can stand in the, the middle of a lake? Very cool. Um, Whoa, I just hit a pit there. Who knows what's sleeping in this stuff. So let me, let me take my fins out. All right, <laughs> hello. I took the fins out so that I can maneuver across the water better. This is working. With my hands as paddles, I shall escape. Nope, <laughs> I guess not. Ah, oh, I think I just hit deeper water. Yes, I did. All right, so without the fins, without the fins, I don't know how well I can maneuver. Well, laying on this thing is pretty nice, I will say. So I'm gonna sit up and see, see how it goes. Um, no, that doesn't feel too bad. All right, so I am finless. And sitting again. Excellent. The adventure continues. Now it does feel like um, without the fins, I'm definitely gonna be course correcting. So I was talking with some people and it turns out that this, this lake has a very shallow center uh, because it's, it's actually filled in right now because of the tide. So, there was a bumblebee, there was a bumblebee or carpenter bee that was drowning. So I saved him. Now he's my passenger. He's going to hang out with me as we finish this sojourn. My little bee friend got himself in the sun to dry off.
Lou, is he getting ready to go? Maybe exploring the territory a little bit. There he goes. And he's gone. Can't see him now. Away. So, overall impressions. Um, overall impressions. Um, sturdy, well built, um, light, easy to carry. Multiple handles uh, make for you know, moving it around as often as I would need. Lots of points to connect. Um, this has a kayak seat. I don't think I'll be doing that or a carry strap. Easy to get used to. Not, not very difficult. Um, honestly, oh my, it's fun. It's just another way of enjoying the water. As far as balance, you know, it's something you would need to get used to, I'm sure. If you don't already have good balance, this might be a good way to uh, to work on it. Um, but yeah, I'd say solid. I'll give it a 10 out of 10. I enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Peace.